Todd Ellis from KPMG, and I'm proud to be the host of the first annual AI Meets Health Equity Task Force. We brought together over 100 thought leaders from across the nation to Lake House to discuss this very important technology and how it's gonna change healthcare for all, for those under-resourced communities who deserve access to healthcare and the way that we can use AI to close that gap. Proud to be working with some of the most amazing leaders in AI to come together and collaborate to really make an impact and change the way that healthcare is delivered for all communities. Hi, I'm Greg Corliss, uh, partner with KPMG, uh, running our emerging technologies business. Really excited today that we're actually hosting the first ever health equity AI conference at the beautiful KPMG Lakehouse. As you can see behind us, there's a lot of great individuals, all leaders in the healthcare industry, collaborating together on how health equity is going to help transform and bring health services to those, to those underrepresented communities in the U.S. as well as globally. So far today, we've actually had some really good conversations from UCF, former Surgeon General with us as well, very impactful speech. Uh, next step this afternoon, we're actually going to get into task force activities. We'll, we got 11 tables that are all going to focus on how AI is going to play a role in transforming health equity services. Next year's 2024 Health Equity AI Conference will actually take those learnings and bring them and help to bring those to life and uh, continue the momentum that we're trying to generate here today. Hi, my name is Amy Blizzard. I'm a manager with the KPMG Ignition team and I'm also the health equity lead for our team. So we've had an incredible event this morning. We started out with putting everybody in, in task force tables. When we think about health equity, we know that health equity is not a problem that can be solved in silos, right? We have to work across sectors, um, adjacent stakeholders have to come together. Following that task force discussion, um, what's happening now is we're having a keynote uh, from Andrea Hules. After the keynote, we're going to have um, everyone do a vote with your feet and gallery walk activity where they're actually going to circulate the room, look around the 11 task force tables um, discussion outputs, and they're going to vote on what are the biggest opportunities to focus on for the year ahead, which we'd like to expand tenfold. So this, is, this event is really laying the groundwork for that um, and really excited about the collaborative discussion about the energy in the room right now. What an amazing second half of the AI Meets Health Equity Summit here at Lake House, where thought leaders share their vision of AI and how it's gonna impact under-resourced communities. What we just accomplished, in my opinion, was second to none, sharing ideas, talking about the future, talking about what we must do as thought leaders in AI and health equity to really move the needle. Publish thought leadership, help create new technologies, ensuring that our algorithms and data are correct so that we can have the most impact on the communities in which we're gonna focus in on. I look forward to next year's conference and I look forward to leading in AI and health equity.